Hello everyone, in this video, I will show how to create simple game using HTML and WebView on Android. I hope this video can help you to introduce with WebView. Now, let's begin. First thing to do is activate view binding because I prefer to use it. But you can use find view by ID if you want. After that, create folder asset inside app source main folder. Then copy all CSS, JS, image, and HTML files to that folder. This HTML files I already prepared to cut time. For this project files, you can download from link in the description below. Next, put WebView to activity layout and don't forget to set WebView ID. After that, create class variables for binding, web view, class reference, and shared reference. Initialize class variables and set content view to binding root. Also enable WebView JavaScript and set Web Chrome client so we can see error from JavaScript in Android Studio. Next, create if block to check first time use app or not by check data name from share preference. Share preference is a class to help store data key value on Android. The data itself is private for each app. If first time use, then show login page. If not, then show dashboard page. Next, let's create plugin class. Please note, for function in plugin class, must use JavaScript interface annotation if you want to access from JavaScript. Inside class, we will declare function save name, get name, save score, get score, and change page. We also use toast to inform user if something wrong with input value.
and use Run on UI Treat to prevent error treat when access web view. Plus, we need to add our plugin to web view. Next, let's add JavaScript to HTML files. First, login page. Add button login click listener to save name from HTML input. Second, dashboard page. Add setter name, click and score value. Profile Pets Add Setter Name Value and Add Save Button Click Listener to Save Name Game page. Add begin and click me button, click listener, and set logic for the game.
pas, let's check program by run it. Okay, in profile page there is an error. Let's fix it. Also in dashboard there is a problem because I forget to add start button listener. Here, we have error in game page because typo. Okay, we have problem with back button. Now fix error back button by override on key down function. The logic is check current page title from history. If the title is game or profile, then back to dashboard page. Else, close or quit the app. Next, let's remove action bar by changing value from Teams XML file. After that, let's change launcher icon by add image asset. Then, change launcher setting icon in manifest file. Oke, 
Okay, I hope this video can help you to learn Android and WebView. If you have questions, suggestions, or requests, please leave it in comment below. Please like this video if help you. Please subscribe to help my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.